everybody. So in this video, we're going to look at using adjectives to describe nouns in Spanish. Uh, before we get going, the document you're looking at is available to you in the description of the video via a link. You're welcome to open it, save a copy of it, uh, and uh, handwrite notes and stuff on it if you want to while we're talking about it. So when in Spanish you're describing a noun with an adjective, you have to make the adjective match up or agree with the noun. Um, so like a quick example, that might, might be saying that if you're talking about la casa, or the house, and it's white, you have to call it blanca because the house is feminine. If it's something masculine like el perro and it's white, it'd be blanco. Uh, that's kind of the idea. I'll give you some examples though down here in just a second. Do keep in mind that um, generally speaking, the adjectives come after the noun in Spanish, like la casa grande would be the house, big literally, or the big house. What we're going to do is look at four sentences here just to kind of get the idea across to you. And while we're doing it, take a look at the words alto and guapo in each sentence and look at how they change depending on what it is that they are describing. So like the first sentence here, we have el hombre guapo es alto, which means the good looking man is tall. So both guapo and alto are adjectives and they're describing el hombre, which is a singular masculine noun. So they have to also be singular and masculine. The same words in this next sentence are changed because la mujer means woman and woman is a singular a feminine noun, so they have to change to guapa or alta. The next two, we have, I made mean, them plural. So we have los hombres guapos son altos. Uh, the good looking men are tall. So notice that guapos and altos are masculine and plural. Plural meaning I add the S to it. And then the last one, las mujeres guapas son altas. So guapas and altas are feminine and plural because they're describing the women, which is also feminine and plural. If you need a quick review on definite articles, that's the words el, la, los, and los. This will be a link in that document. And if you need a quick review on the verb ser, that's where I get the s and the son from. This is also a link that will take you to a video lesson on that as well. Let's go down. I got a couple more uh, points to have you keep in mind before we do a practice activity. Most nouns that end in O are masculine, like el libro, teléfono, sombrero, edificio. Most nouns that end in A or A are feminine, like la chaqueta, computadora, ventana, pierna. Adjectives that end in an E match both masculine and feminine nouns. Paciente, fuerte, interesante, for example. So if I took this word paciente and I put it up here in these first two sentences, it would be paciente and paciente. It wouldn't change. It matches both genders. Many adjectives that end in a consonant match, match both genders as well, like fácil, fenomenal, azul. And then to make those adjectives plural, I'm going to add an ES to them. Now, there are some exceptions to those, but for the most part, that's how they work. I have uh, an activity for you to practice, but a couple examples first. So what you're going to do is take the adjectives at the end of the sentence and make them match the noun that they're describing. So like number one uh, says, mi computadora es, and I use this word blanco, which means white, to describe my computer. Now, computer is a feminine singular noun. So the answer for that one would be blanca. And this one, yo llevo unos libros. So I'm carrying some books, and the books are black. So I have to make the word black match the libros. So to do that, I'm going to make it negros. So what you have here are 10 sentences. Each sentence has a blank, and in that blank, you need to put the correct form of this adjective. Please note that some of them might not change depending on what it is you're describing. So if you want to do that really quick, pause the video, and I'm going to scroll down and give you the answers in just a second. Okay, here come the answers. So the first one we have is la clase es interesante. Remember that the Ones that end with an E are going to match both genders, so it's not going to change. Las mochilas son buenas. The backpacks are good. I mean, feminine and plural because mochilas is feminine and plural. El televisor es azul. The TV is blue. It's not going to change. Los sombreros son verdes. The sombreros are green. The profesor es feo. The teacher is ugly. Las muchachas son simpáticas. The girls are nice. Los estudiantes son trabajadores. The students are hardworking. Ocho, la señorita es bonita. Uh, the miss is, or the girl is pretty. Llevo una papelera roja. I'm carrying a red waste paper basket. Y días, ellos llevan unos papeles blancos. Uh, they're carrying some white paper. If you need a review on these words, unos and una, uh, those are called indefinite articles. Search my YouTube channel and you can find a lesson on those. And also, if you need to, I have a I've got video lessons on this verb, llevar, as well. If you want to search my channel for that, you can get some extra help with that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you in the next video. Hasta luego.